Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about inputs. We want to have a little bit different behavior of our memories, so we talk about special inputs. Yeah. Do you remember this picture? This picture with the forbidden areas and so on. Yeah. We have had this. I will draw it once again because we are talking about static and dynamic inputs. Okay. Uh, well, the name static input, uh, it doesn't really mean the input is not changing at all. It is static because then this input would not have any sense. Yeah. So there are the areas, the good areas here or the, the guaranteed areas. Up and low and in between we have this forbidden area. In between we have this forbidden area and inside this forbidden area there are certain trigger levels where the input is interpreted as one if we are above this. And there is a trigger level on down and we said where those trigger levels are we cannot be sure. Okay. And now let's imagine we do have a certain input voltage. Look like this. And this is disturbed somehow. Looks like this. What is the output? What is the output? The output starting with here, or not the output, the interpretation of the input actually, that's what's the correct word. Starting from here, here's the trigger level, we will interpret this input level as one. Up to here, here we are below the, the trigger level for going down to zero. And here we will be again above. And here we will switch back to zero. This is how this looks like. Well, if we do have a little less disturbance, and it would look maybe like this, we will not switch back here. We will stay up. Probably this is how this originally looks like. Because one thing is that disturbances are often not that high. There's not that high uh, steepness of the inputs, yeah? of the edges of the signals. They, are, they will be washed out, but they will still be there. And the disturbances are usually slower. This is a static input. Okay. This is a static input. How a static input behaves? Looking just at the level of the input. And then there are dynamic inputs. And dynamic inputs, they do not look at the level of the input. They look at the steepness of the input. There are two types of, of uh, dynamic inputs. One type is looking at the steepness the rising edge and one type is looking at the steepness of the falling edge. Okay. If we are now uh, one, try to draw the same or similar signal as before. Ah, okay, and then there's a different type of disturbance. It looks like this. Good. Yeah. And let's say this is the steepness to be reached to interpret this as rising edge. Yeah? If we shift this with our root to here, yeah, then exactly at this point we are getting higher, yeah? we have a higher steepness, so we will switch here to 1. And dynamic inputs yeah, usually only switch for a very short time period. 
and then disappear again. And then we will never reach this deepness again. No impulse. And on the other hand, we do have here a steepness to be reached for the falling edge. Usually the same steepness. And if you're looking at this, we will reach it here. Reach it here. Exactly here. So here we are interpreting this if we are triggering on the falling edge, yeah, the dynamic input, we will have here the short pulse at this position. Short sharp pulse. This is how a dynamic input is interpreting this exact signal. This, if this disturbance here is looking like this or like this, it does not really matter huh? because we are just reacting on the edges. The symbols, well, here, if this is the certain symbol, yeah, we draw it like this. This is a static input. Yeah? And here, if this is the certain symbol, yeah, We draw it like this, and then make a little bit... This is reacting on the rising edge. Yeah? And if we draw this little ring before, like always, this is now reacting on the falling edge. This triangle here shows it's a dynamic input. Okay? It's a dynamic input. Static inputs, dynamic inputs. Okay. What does it mean now for our memory? Yeah. Usually we do have a controlled memory. What does this mean again? Yeah. So there is the ledge. Draw the ledge. And there are some sort of gatekeepers before, which only allows to write to the ledge at a certain time. Okay. So this is the SR ledge memory. These are the gatekeepers who will only allow to write at a certain time. This is a nothing more than end blocks. Okay. And here we block these two ends by a certain input, by a trigger input. Okay. And here we do have set and reset line. Yeah. So this means the, imp or the ledge here can only be set or reset if trigger is at level 1. Okay. This is a static input here. Yeah. So this is a level triggered, yeah? level triggered latch. Until t is one, s and r can even change, and the changes will be taken into into the memory. Okay? We extending the symbol of the memory then. Looking like this as R input here are three inputs now the output Q and here is S, R and T okay. this is the symbol of a static input or a static trigger input uh, level triggered okay. and there are latches or memories which look like this. Basically, they look exactly the same. They even they also have these two elements which will allow to block the writing. These are again end blocks. SR memory. 
and there are of course are external S and external R uh, but now the second ones they are dynamic inputs so only if the trigger signal is now reaching a certain steepness we can write in a very short time we can write into the flash yeah? here this is the clock input only if clock input is changing from 0 to 1 exactly at this moment what is at s and r will be copied into the ledge yeah? good yeah? here we can exactly say at which position how long c is staying at 1 yeah? does not really matter exactly at the at the short period because there's dynamic input at the short period of time when c is changing from 0 to 1 we will take s and r and write it into the ledge yeah. the symbol of such ledge looks like this so this is an edge triggered ledge actually edge triggered because the edge of c is triggering the writing to the ledge and there is dynamic input the middle one is dynamic here is the S line, here is the R line, and here is the C. Yeah. Edge level triggered on rising edge. On falling edge, there is also, of course. Then we just again write like it would be inverted. So S R C S R Q Level triggered ledges, edge triggered ledges, rising, falling edge. That's it, that's dynamic inputs. You see it's not that complicated. Both and also now then the names are clear yeah? static is reacting just on the static level and dynamic is reacting on the change of the level yeah? the dynamic change of the level next time we're going to talk about what we can do with such type of memories yeah? what we can do with them if we can now select exactly the time when we want to write to the ledge yeah? we'll see the result will be so-called flip-flops but this is then in next video for this time thank you very much for listening and goodbye